the week is musk thistle. And when we were talking about controlling weeds in lawns earlier in the show, I was thinking about this weed that, you know, if you get musk thistle in its first year, when it's in a rosette stage close to the ground, much easier to control. Many times in the fall, we see those rosettes out in a pasture or rangeland or in ditches, this kind of thing, and we don't really pay much attention. Oh, well, that's no big deal. It's not till the next year when they bolt and grow big and tall and put on that seed head that we think, oh man, I gotta do something about musk thistle. But if that's how you're looking at it, you're totally missing the boat. We wanna try and kill musk thistle in the first season if we at all possibly can. Yeah, so musk thistle is a biennial weed. It's only gonna live two years, and the reason why we wanna kill it in the first year is before it goes to seed that's the time to get it. Once it goes to seed, now you got to deal with it for many years. Well, musk thistle, we often think about musk thistle and bull thistle in the same breath because they're both biennial thistles. They're both a big problem in a lot of pastures around the country. But with bull thistle, it's got a lot of spikes to it, whereas musk thistle, yeah, especially in its first year, it's got this great big rosette, little wider leaf, that kind of thing. But either way, the control methods are going to be the same. The best thing you can use is straight milestone. That's the very best product. Second best product would be Tordon. And then after after that, your best bet is to hit it with a high rate of 2,4-D or dicamba. The other thing you can do is use one of the combination products. There are many different combinations out there that have either a Milestone or a Tordon as the base. Then they also have a 2,4-D or maybe an Ally or something like that in the mix. That's fine, and you can do that if you've got lots of other weeds that you say, hey, that's not the only weed I have. I have a number of other weeds out there. That's fine. The other thing you can do is spot spray. Many guys will say, well, I don't know if I want to spend 5 to $10 an acre to kill weeds, but if you do it in a spot spray, it gets much more cost effective. Effective. Well, the big thing here is we just want to get these weeds under control in the fall, so then we have even better chance for those weeds to die over the winter. That's all the time we have for this week's weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next.